Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is the second part to the MSI GT780 uh, versus the ASUS G74 um, gaming laptops. Um, today I'm going to be doing benchmarks on both of them, uh, both at stock settings and at uh, you know overclocked. Um, in the previous videos, I did mention that the ASUS had more VRAM, you know, three gigabyte, while the uh, MSI only had 1.5, um, but the fact is they're pretty much the same. The ASUS had more VRAM, but you know it lacks a little bit of uh, GPU clock, so it's it's got 775 instead of 814, so it lacks in that. So we'll see how that compares. Um, I'm going to be running um, Unigen Heaven uh, 3.0 and 3D Mark 3, 3, um, 3 Mark 11 on both laptops also keep in mind for the temperatures um, as we uh, benchmark them um, in my opinion the ASUS has is going to get better temperatures because of the massive heat sinks and um, the better design and cooling um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the turbo boost uh, or the fan boost for the MSI so as you can hear the um, the MSI fan is going up and to a maximum, so I'll be quiet and let you hear the fan. Yep, there it is. So we're probably gonna have a, you know, more noise added to the MSI, whereas the ASUS will stay nice and cool and quiet. Um, so I'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead and just run this at stock settings and then we'll overclock it later. Um, so I'll run uh, GG Benchmark and 3D Mark at stock settings, and then I'm going to run it at, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, overclock speed, so I'll be back. Okay, this is the um, ASUS, um, as you can hear, that's the other fan, that's the MSI fan, not the ASUS, um, but like I mentioned, only 7075. Core clock and yeah, pretty much everything else is the same except you know three gigahertz of uh, three three megabyte uh, three gigabyte of the RAM. Um, also, we notice immediately the temperatures are much cooler already, um, and the fans will not rev up. Trust me on this. Um, I'm benching the uh, MSI right now, that's why you can hear the loud noise of the fan in the background. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and run this as stock settings on 3D Mark um, 11 and Unigen 2.0. Yep. Okay, so I just finished uh, benching the MSI and let's get into it. So you have an average FPS of 26.7, score of 673. Keep in mind this is at SI settings and um, default settings for Unigen 3.0 as well. Um, so that's, that's this thing. Okay, let's close this out. Quit. Okay. Look at the temps, you can see that the GPU reached a max of 70, uh, 57 Celsius. This is on full blast, or the fan is on full blast. And the temps for the CPUs are high, high-ish uh, 50s for uh, CPU as well. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to run uh, 3D Mark 11 now. Okay, save. Yeah, okay, so the ASUS just finished benchmarking on Unigen, so... Uh, average FPS 26.2 and uh, 661. So it's uh, it's very similar to the MSI. Keep mind that this is a soft settings as well and default settings on Unigen. So let's look at the temperatures. Okay, right off the bat we can see five degrees difference compared to 57 um, and. If you're listening, there's no fan noise because I turned it off for the MSI. Um, so now you can't hear anything. It's completely silent. Um, tem temperatures for CPU is very similar as well. Main difference is the um, temperature of the GPU. You know, running normal fan on the ASUS while um, max fan on the MSI. That's a huge difference. Um, so the ASUS definitely has uh, superior cooling. Um, yeah, it's gonna run 3D Mark 11 now. Okay, so the 3D Mark 11 just finished on the MSI stock settings. Uh, right off the bat, you can see uh, increase in 
the temperature by 5 degrees. This is because I turn off the uh, turbo fan on the MSI because right now you don't hear anything. So it's a total of 10 degrees Celsius higher than the ASUS, which is dramatically different. And so you can also see the uh, CPU always, um, also went up because of you know uh, no fan on the turbo boost. So it's also 10 degrees, about 10 degrees more than the ASUS. Okay, so I'm going to overcopy MSI now and run Unigen and 3D Mark 11 again. Okay, the ASUS just finished uh, benching. Um, let's see. It's got a score of uh, performance 2207, um, 1981 graphic score. Looking at the temperatures, it did not increase at all. Stayed at 52, which is a great thing. Um, the temperatures are, again, uh, a lot lower than the MSI and, you know, less noise as well. Um, so now we're just going to overclock the ASUS to its max potential on, uh, on a MSI burner. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the MSI is overclocked to max on uh, MSI burner. 1060, 22, yada yada. Um, yep, as you see in GPU-Z as well, it's all maxed out. Um, now I'm just going to rerun Unigen and 3D Mark 11. Alright, so um, MSI just finished the uh, third test overclocked, um, have been benchmark 3.0. Uh, again, average FPS of 27.6, score 7002. So let's see the temps. Alright, so. As you can see, uh, it was stable at 1060, max out on uh, MSI afterburner. The ASUS couldn't even uh, max it out. It was running on like, what, 950 or 990 right now? It doesn't matter. Um, but the temps got really hot um, without the turbo fan, 72 degrees Celsius. Um, same thing with the CPU score uh, so, um, temperatures, as you can see. Uh, but it was very stable overclock. Um, so now we're going to move on to the GD Mark 11 benchmark. All right, here's something very interesting. Even though the ASUS um, clocked at lower clock speed, um, it actually got more FPS and score. So I'm gonna guessing it's mostly because of the GPU, but then or not GPU, CPU. But then again, it's it's only 100 megahertz, but who knows, right? But it did get significant more FPS. Um, as you can see, it's only clocked at 900 um, on an MSI burner. And I guess a lot has to do with the VRAM as well, I would figure, but then again, it's only one screen on 1080p, so it's not like you're running 3D right now. Um, temperatures, a lot less than the MSI, of course, by a whole 15, holy crap, 15, 17. Um, same for the other ones. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to run uh, 3 Mark 11 and see what's up. Okay, so the MSI just finished benchmarking. Um, max overclock in 3D Mark 11. Um, it's got a performance score of 2279, graphic score of 20, 2035. Uh, it's, it's not a huge increase, but for more. Um, temperature output, I probably would not recommend overclocking because the difference is very, very minimal. Um, so I don't think it's worth the extra stress on your, your hardware at all. So don't overclock in this case particularly um, because it's not worth it. You know, you're not getting a huge performance increase at all. Um, so, I mean, this is again synthetic benchmark. So if you see um, a good increase in you know your, your gameplay, then go ahead and do it. But <coughs> excuse me, according to the uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ, <coughs> wow, joking on myself. Um, but synthetic benchmark, you tiny, tiny, tiny little difference, so wouldn't even bother overclocking. Um, and the ASUS right now, it's yeah, it's it's still benching, so I'll post the results. Okay, here are the results for the overclocked um, ASUS. Again, I'm extremely surprised because at lower clock speed, 
the ASUS um, laptop manages to get higher score and better graphics score than the MSI with lower temperatures. Um, so I guess I was correct in saying that the 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 GPUs are not the same, even though GPU Z says they are. Um, the ASUS actually has a, a better um, graphics card because there are more cores in it. 192 versus the other one, uh, which has only 128, I believe. So even though the other one is 160 clock speed higher, it still doesn't match up to the number of cores that the ASUS provides. Um, so in this instance, the um, ASUS wins by a landslide, I would say. Um, you know, so here is the conclusion.